behind bounce back? Well, it's a huge season for us uh, and season ticket holders are always um, very important in terms of uh, our expectation and the playing budget and how we manage cash flow for the season going ahead. Uh, we thought it was important to try and do some new initiatives to try and incentivise and uh, reward fans for, for signing up um, for a season ticket next year. So I think it's quite a chunky prize. Someone's going to win £5,000 for being a season ticket holder at Cheltenham Town. Um, as long as we sell those thousand tickets, that's a big order, a big ask. But, um, um, I think with manager Gary Johnson now sort of in place, I think that's fans have had a good um, response to that. Um, obviously, we want to start getting some players in, but so that, that that's great. If we get 900, then that's still two and a half thousand pounds for somebody, and if we get 800, it's a thousand. So those cash incentives are quite are quite fun, um, and I think also we decided to try and reward fans if we can bounce back this season which would be amazing with 10% off season tickets for next year if we can do that and finally we've reintroduced the introduce a friend scheme so if you introduce a friend um, who's not currently a season ticket holder and you are then we'll give you £25 for everyone you sign up so lots of little incentives there uh, which will hopefully pay for themselves because if we get a thousand season ticket holders that'll be well in excess of, ex well in excess of um, our budget expectations and well in excess of almost last year's figures as well well and absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and that was on on the back of a very poor season um so uh, you know we have got a really good um strong loyal um season ticket holder base so you know if, if, if we can get 750 renewals you know fairly soon out of the potential 900 we've already got and then you know once we get nearer to that 800 we can do a sort of tick down figure yeah. with, with you guys and uh, through our websites and stuff like that and see how we're getting on getting towards that magical thousand uh, and i think five thousand pounds in anybody's uh, um, expectation is a decent amount of money to win so how great will that be yeah um smile on the face which is giving us a, a, yeah. a, a, a tricky couple of weeks for you yeah. is there a feeling that that you sort of you've hit rock bottom as it were and, and, and Cheltenham town are bouncing back uh, bouncing back to, to where, where hopefully they could be it seems to me that bounce back to be my phrase you know, with the Liberal Democrats, you know, obviously um, suffering very, very badly in the same way that Cheltenham Town have suffered very, very badly. It must be something to do with me. Uh, so perhaps the sooner I leave, both the better. Uh, but no, I mean, yeah, I mean, for, for both, it's been uh, a pretty awful year. Um, I don't think either of us can get much lower. Um, but it's important just to retain that faith and to, re and to, re to you know, to also remember um, actually what we have been able to deliver. And certainly on the football side, you know, I know I hark on about it. It, but nevertheless we did have 16 years in the Football League mm -hmm. and had some great memories so who's to say that can't happen nobody expected us to get in the Football League last time round so uh, perhaps there'll be more expectation now because we'll be one of the bigger clubs in, in, in the conference if that says more expectation on us but it's a tough ask as we know and it'll be interesting to see whether Rovers or Grimsby uh, get promoted um, but yeah, there's still going to be some fun, fun fixtures next year and um, some nice places to go that we haven't been to before I'm looking forward to going to Chester I haven't been there for a long time great memories of mm -hmm. our I went up there, which brought on Newcastle, of course. Back down to Torquay for a nice weekend in Devon and Braintree. So, you know, we've got, we got a right on mix there. But I think the fans will... You know, I think uh, our away support has been, has been disappointing over the last few years. I, I understand that. But actually, I think, you know, going back to these smaller grounds and smaller crowds, I think we'll take more fans. Mm. Uh, I think we'll generate a really good atmosphere uh, away from home this year. And key to the sort of positivity at the moment has been the appointment of Gary. It seems to have gone down really well with, with everybody, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it's gone well, down, it's gone well with, the, with the players and obviously Trevor Carson has spoken uh, highly of it. I've spoken to all the management team uh, and they're, they're very enthusiastic about the appointment. Uh, obviously, we've got to know him over the period, which is quite nice that he's not coming in cold to the club and we've got to know him a bit. Uh, and, uh, and importantly, of course, the, the supporters are bought into it and I think a lot of people are sceptical skeptical about um, giving Mark Yates a, a new contract and I think because of that, some people didn't renew their contracts, uh, their, their season tickets. Yeah. Obviously, more people are sceptical about the buckle uh, appointment uh, but I think it's great that everybody seems to be on board with this appointment so let's just hope Gary can hit the ground running next season bring in some good players in the close season it's going to be difficult because obviously the budget is reduced but all we can do is give them the best we can and that's why season tickets are so so important because if we do hit that thousand figure um, we can put a little bit more into the playing budget Excellent